Welcome fellow Trojans and Trinidad Trojan supporters. Trinidad State is proud to host our annual Achievement Awards to celebrate our graduates and all Trojan student, faculty, and staff achievements over the last academic year. We would typically be dressed up and ready to enjoy some food and laughs with our fellow students and colleagues. However, due to the CDC weather report, we're not clear to have the gathering together. We will celebrate virtually with a Trinidad Trojan Tribute series of videos. We'll share some program highlights of our various programs and students, recognize our Honor Corps graduate recipients, as well as our student leaders who have stood out making a difference on and off campus during the 2019-2020 academic year. Let's start with a message from Trinidad State Junior College President, Dr. Rhonda Epper. Hello students. First of all, I just wanted to tell you how much I miss seeing you on campus. But today is an exciting day because it's a day we are celebrating you. And much as we have adapted everything we are doing this semester, we hope you will enjoy this adaptation and virtual presentation of the Student Achievement Awards. It's a tradition that we did not want to miss this year because it recognizes all of the outstanding achievements and hard work that you've accomplished this year. We recognize that this semester has been tumultuous in many ways and that your lives and even your livelihoods may look different now than just two months ago. But what hasn't changed is that we are here for you. We want to help you stay on track with your education. We want to celebrate your successes, um, including your graduation or whatever your next steps might be. And I want you to know that I'm extremely proud of you for persevering through this academic year. So congratulations and go Trojans. Thank you, Dr. Upper. We begin our recognition of our Trojans by introducing our program highlights. Dr. Everett Brown will start with Arts and Sciences. Hello and welcome to the 2019-2020 Annual Student Achievement Awards, gone virtual. My name is Dr. Everett Brown and I'm the Dean of Instruction over Arts and Sciences, Liberal Arts, and the Social Sciences. Some of you are earning an Associate of Science degree. Some of you are earning an Associate of Arts degree. Maybe you're getting an associate in studio art or sociology, philosophy or anthropology. Maybe it's history or physics or geography. Maybe you're getting an associate in biology or pre-engineering or mathematics or economics. Maybe it's in English or art history or psychology. Maybe it's in theater. Or maybe you're getting an associate a science in general studies or an associate of arts in general studies. Now learning is a change of behavior. It's a change of attitude and it's a change of abilities based upon the experiences we have. We are proud of what you have learned here at TSJC. Your learning is an achievement in itself, an achievement no one can take away from you. That learning gives you access to choices, choices that you get to make. We are here to celebrate your achievements, what you have learned, and you have learned a lot. Maybe you were involved in the robotics program. That's an award-winning program that's produced a number of very impressive scholars. Or the astronomy or geography program where you learn the importance of place. Perhaps you went to the, to the weather station to learn something about climate or you learn something about skulls and bones in the, in the anthropology or biology classes. In the arts classes, you learned about perspective and contrast. We know that many of you would have liked to put your exhibits on display had the circumstances permitted. In music, you learned rhythm and pitch and the ability to listen to the subtle. I am sure that you wrote and you read a lot of papers on in your English classes, in literature courses, in your humanities classes. I am sure that you watched a lot of thought-provoking film in, in the theater courses. In your engineering, physics, chemistry, and other classes, you learned a lot of new terms and concepts. And I'm sure that you learned something about the importance of cause and effect. 
you learned what you can do with numbers in your mathematics classes. Maybe in biology, you learned something about the diversity of life and how fragile, yet how resilient life on the planet can be. In your communications classes, you learned how to express ideas, and you also learned how to listen to ideas of others. In history and economics courses, you learned that the past has a lot to teach us, and we can learn from them to provide for a better future. In sociology and psychology, you learned about relationships, relationships with ourselves, relationships with others, with relationships with the environment and the community. Our hope is that you will continue to have meaningful experiences that will provoke you to learn and grow and progress. As you, we hope that you'll remember your time here at Trinidad State as a positive thing. Well done, and thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Next, we would like to honor our graduates who have earned a 3.5 to 3.74 GPA, giving them a bronze graduation cord. Lynette Bates will present our bronze graduates. Dr. Shaley Andrietta, Guatemoc Barksdale, Michaela Bivens, Ariel Brown, Destiny Calderon Ruiz, Cambry Curtis, Nicholas De Costanza, Shania Del Herrera, Aspen DeFour, Deidre Ecker, Kathleen Falconer, Carly Garrison, Brian Guernsey, Rihanna Hopper, Madison Kaminsky, Joshua Kinnison, and Raymond Nill. Congratulations to our Bronze Cord Honor graduates. Next, we will present our two Outstanding Leadership Awards. The Outstanding Leadership Award goes to students who have sought out involvement opportunities at Trinidad State to better themselves and enhance their leadership skills. Our nominees are Jessica Ariano, Desiree Marino, Katie Gerhard, Andy Ortega, Garrett Genshork, Emily Emma Hicks, and Jonathan Wilson. Congratulations to all of you and thank you for sharing your leadership skills and positive attitude with Trinidad State. To present this year's 2019-2020 Outstanding Leadership Award, Ashley Cogburn for our first winner, and for our second Outstanding Leadership Award, Susie Wickert and Eile Ryling will present. Emma Hicks is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Um, when she wants to be involved, she is 110% involved with her head, her heart, and any grit that she has to give. Um, Emma, you are valuable in any position that you've held um, here on campus, as well as I know in the various communities that you've volunteered in and worked in. Um, your leadership is something to be modeled after and I really appreciate everything you've done for our students as well as the Trinidad State community over the past year. I know you've overcome a lot of personal um, obstacles and I'm super proud that you have completed a year. Um, one of your goals with us at Trinidad State and know that you are always part of our Trojan family and we are super proud of you. Congrats, well deserved. Hi, um, congratulations, Katie. I'm really proud of you. Uh, I nominated Katie because I know her both in an RA capacity and a work study capacity. And she's always one of the first ones to step in and help out people if they need coverage, um, change shifts, whatever. And she takes initiative and does all sorts of things without being asked. It's really great to have her on hand, especially at the Student Center. Um, this was my first year supervising those work studies and she had been a work study in the past, so she really um, you know, kind of knew the procedures and really helped me get started and made sure to help me understand all the things like inventory, um, was always there for events even if she wasn't scheduled to work like as, as an SGA member or whatever. Um, she was just one that I knew and still know that I can always count on. Uh, she's very deserving of this student leader award. 
Hi, my name is Eileen Reiling, a visual arts faculty at TSJC. I'm um, speaking about Katie Gerhard and her um, uh, award-winning um, nomination for the Outstanding Leadership Award for the 2019-2020 TSJC Student Achievement Awards. Um, so I would like to speak about Katie as a student and as an individual, as a leader, um, and as a person of our TSJC community. Um, so she continually represents herself, TSJC, and all of her various organizations um, as a vibrant and motivated individual. Um, during her time at TSJC, TSJC, she has devoted her time and energy not only to her studies, which she excels at, uh, but also to building supportive foundations and communication for her community, the campus, and all that she knows. The list of her activities are as long as my arm, um, and that's literal, I printed them out, they're long, um, but I'm going to highlight a few here. Um, so she has been the president and program manager for the Student Nursing Association. She has also been involved in TSJC gover student government um, as a nursing, STEM, and safety committee member. Um, she has integrated herself into the Southern Colorado Robotics Program. She was the winner um, of the Cata Lively Suicide Prevention Art Show in 2020. She's also an Alpha Delta Nu member um, and organized the uh, Bone Marrow Registration Drive in spring of 2019. Miss um, Gerhardt is an exceptional person whose capability for empathy, stalwart um, work ethic, and grace of character stands as a beautiful example of the capability and capacity of the human spirit. It is an honor and pleasure to know and work with her. Katie, congratulations. You deserve absolutely every single accolade that you will receive. Congratulations to Emma and Katie. You two ladies have been inspirational at Trinidad State. We move forward now to present more program highlights related to our career and technical areas. Hello from the Trinidad State Gunsmithing Department. We are actively practicing social distancing. Uh, you'll meet us all from our homes today. Uh, taking this opportunity to look at some of the highlights of our program. I'm Ryan Newport. Bob Campbell. Logan Schmidt. And some of the things we had going on this year in the gunsmithing department, one of our highlights was we were featured on the Rocky Mountain PBS Arts District uh, TV show. They down, brought their film crew down and did a full episode on the art of gunsmithing. This took our world and showed it to a broader range of people and uh, showed them a more diverse opportunity field. It was really well received and a lot of uh, enjoyment to make. And uh, we got a lot of positive feedback from it. And it's been great for our students to have this opportunity to see the side of our industry. I got to be involved with uh, a trade show, outdoor trade show up in Denver. And uh, several of our students went with and uh, got to be involved with the marketing uh, group and uh, um, made contacts with a lot of people there. Um, we've also been involved with uh, a couple of the other big trade shows where uh, students get a chance to go there and show some of the projects they've been working on, as well as make contacts with uh, business people in the industry. Um, so it's real important for uh, them to be able to meet those people and uh, have uh, potential jobs when they graduate. Um, we continue our uh, um, work with the Philmont uh, Boy Scout uh, Ranch. Um, um, a lot of our students work there in the summer. And uh, those are things that we continue to work with. And uh, we want to keep ourselves out there and uh, be up with the new trends in the industry. Uh, or had the opportunity to uh, do some upgrading to our machinery, to everything in line with current industry trends and allow our students to have the opportunity to uh, experience newer machines that uh, allow such things as uh, threading uh, metric, as well as uh, been working with other tool and tool manufacturers to continue to stay at the forefront of our industry, continue to move forward and allow our students to uh, experience exactly what is uh, upcoming in the field. Now I want to thank you for allowing us to uh, 
present and, and share with you what we have going on over this past year. Thank you very much. So this is dealing with the health sciences and I am Lori Ray Hamilton. I'm the Dean over the health sciences. I'll take and cover our OSH program. Our OSH program um, throughout the year, they did pass their ABET national accreditation. So we were very excited about that. Um, in our MAP, our medical assistant uh, program, uh, they're all doing very well. Uh, they're on a little bit of a hold right now just because of uh, trying to get them back into their clinical sites, but hopefully once this COVID passes over, then we'll take and get them through the clinical sites. And our addiction counseling program, we are moving these courses over to our community education. You do know of people that are wanting addiction counseling courses to either become a CAC 1 or a CAC 2, uh, please take and direct them towards um, either Juliana Chaparro or um, Donna Haddo uh, to get them registered for these courses under community education. And our dental assistant program, our third cohort's moving through. Um, they are doing their theory online and until the dentists get back to working again, uh, they are also at a little bit of a standstill. In our EMS department, we have our first cohort for paramedic level actually coming through and they're doing great. Um, they are still uh, doing some of their theory stuff online um, and they are actually meeting in, in Alamosa for hands-on practice. Uh, we'll be going through our national accreditation for our paramedic probably fall 2022. Uh, it could be sooner than that. Um, we'll also be starting the EMTA in the fall of 2022. Uh, so that's EMT for advanced. That's what's replacing the intermediate throughout the state of Colorado and the nation. Um, our, uh, we did have our team's uh, program for EMS that happened earlier in March. Um, and that one we were able to do face-to-face -face and virtual. So we were able to take in um, give our community um, extra CEUs that they needed before their deadlines to have their licenses renewed at the end of March. Uh, so all of those were done um, via virtual or face-to-face. -face. Uh, so that was a wonderful turnout there. In our nurse aid program, um, all the cohorts are doing great. Um, we will not be doing the online MUA as it's come out in some public areas. We really believe that our nurse aides need to take and uh, make sure that they know their hands-on skills for their for their testing. Um, so we are still taking and doing the theory face to face, and um, we we're doing the the uh, skills hands-on um, uh, face to face also. In our nursing program. Um, even with all the executive orders and the hurdles that we've had to jump through, the nursing students have managed to complete. Um, so they are right on schedule. We have some nurses that are actually testing um, this week. So that's very exciting for us. Um, so we wish them good luck and um, please let us know how things are going. Let us know about your first job and keep in touch. Our uh, reaccreditation visit with ASIN will be in September 2020. And so we're looking forward to them coming. They will be here regardless of what's going on, either virtually or in person. Um, the online R to BSN program will also be starting fall 2020. Um, all the applications for the selective admission programs throughout our health sciences are still open. Um, the application emails or the acceptance emails, excuse me, uh, the acceptance email, emails will go out June 1st on all the selective programs for health sciences. Um, anyways, we've really enjoyed the year. It's definitely been one to remember. Um, and uh, congratulations to everybody tonight that's getting an award. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all in the fall. We really do miss seeing everybody. We'll talk to you. We have some really awesome programs here at Trinidad State, and our students make their experiences count. Thank you to our academic deans for putting together information to highlight those programs. Next, we would like to congratulate our Silver Cord graduates. These students have received a GPA of 3.75 to 3.99. Our Vice President of Academic Affairs will name our Silver Cord graduates. Nalen Ball, Anna Day, Akeem Laramond, Rachel McKinley, Martin Murphy, 
Garrett Scott, and Megan Serafini. Moving back to our Achievement Awards, next we will present our Student Employee of the Year Award. This year we have Katie Gerhard, Jacob Sandoval, Michaela San Roman, and Carly Garrison as nominees. Each of these students has gone above and beyond within the area they work in and have been outstanding work studies for Trinidad State. This year we have Ruth Partridge to present the Trinidad Campus Student Employee of the Year Award. Congratulations, Carly, for being the 2019-2020 Student Employee of the Year. Um, I was asked to uh, say a little bit about Carly and uh, why I nominated her. I would say um, that she's an excellent worker and that she made my job easier and better. Uh, First of all, she's just a natural with children, especially with babies. She's a bit of a baby whisperer, but also uh, if we didn't have kids that day, uh, Carly was always willing to help me with anything, whether it was disinfecting the toys, rearranging the center, uh, uh, putting up bulletin boards every month. Carly was always willing to help me. So uh, she has an excellent work ethic and she's just an ever so pleasant person to be around. I couldn't think of anyone more uh, deserving than Carly. So congratulations, Carly. Well done. Congratulations to all nominees. We appreciate your hard work outside the classroom in different areas across campus. We hope you are learning as much from outside the classroom as you are teaching us. We know our work studies value their departments with a positive Trojan blue and gold attitude. Speaking of gold, next we have Lynette Bates one last time to present the gold cord graduates who have achieved a perfect 4.0 GPA. Jessica Ariano, Delia Funk, Jade Glasser, Jacqueline Hernandez, Emily Hicks, Lucy Ketchum, Haley Leatherwood, Ashley Min, Paul Rocky, Jessica Roundtree, Rihanna Sotelo Ramos, Chance Winning, and Jocelyn Charlesworth. For our last graduation cords, we welcome our Phi Theta Kappa advisors to present our PTK cords with a special message about their hard work and success. Congratulations, students. We are so proud of you on maintaining this academic achievement here at Trinidad State. Our best wishes. Congratulations to all of our CORD recipients. We're virtually clapping for you and your high academic achievements. Transitioning back to the Achievement Awards and thinking outside the classroom, it's time to congratulate our nominees for Exemplary Service to Community Award. The nominees for the Trinidad campus are Kevin Bergman, and Isabel Bell Panario. Both of these students have met the criteria of embodying the meaning of service in the Trinidad State, Alamosa and Trinidad, national or global community. These individuals have served in a selfless manner by completing community service without seeking recognition. Yet we recognize them both. To present this year's Exemplary Service to Community Award, we have Ashley Cogburn. Bell is one of the sweetest students on our Trinidad campus. Anytime you hear her name brought up in conversation, um, there's always something positive to be said about her. She is extremely involved in our community um, with our youth as a mentor, um, teaching soccer, um, tutoring, things like that, involved in her church community, um, as well as working towards her goal of being a nurse. Um, She genuinely leads with her heart because she wants um, nothing but the best for other people and genuinely for people to love themselves. Um, 
I'm really honored to be able to get to know her over the past few years that she's been with us and I can't wait to see where she continues to go. Um, Belle, please keep leading with your heart and know that all the acts that you have done um, have not gone unnoticed and you and your leadership is very appreciated. Congrats. To finish our Trinidad State Award portion, we have our last award, the Emerging Scholar Award. Students who have been nominated for the Emerging Scholar Award have overcome various obstacles to succeed in their academics. Each of these students has a powerful story, and we're extremely grateful to have them here at Trinidad State Junior College as part of our Trojan family. Congratulations to Rachel McKinley, Natalia Ospino, Akeem Larmond, and Delia Funk on your nomination for the Trinidad Campus 2019-2020 Emerging Scholar Award. To present the winner of this award, we welcome Dustin Hyman. Hi. I've been asked to uh, explain why I nominated Natalia Ospino for the Emerging Scholar Award. And to be honest, it was a pretty it was a pretty easy decision. I've had Natalia in my English classes for two semesters and she has been dominating, crushing the competition as um, someone that speaks English as a second language. And she's always using the writing center uh, asking me questions after class and so it's been her work ethic that separates her from um, a lot of other people and she also contributed to one of our open mics at Los Animas Grill she had the confidence to go down there read a poem and she had the biggest applause of the night and so that's one memory I have of her and the other memory is just with her and Sofia, her friend, my friend too, from um, Spain. And they're always patient as they teach me Spanish before and after class. And they put up with my, um, my lectures and lessons. So, Natalia, congratulations. Que te vaya bien. Nos vemos. Adios. Congratulations to all of our award nominees and winners. At this time, we welcome our Vice President of Student Services, Carrie Gabrielson, to present the Colorado Community College Student Rising Star Award and the TSJC Employee of the Year Award. Hi, my name is Carrie Gabrielson. I want to thank you for joining us at the virtual Student Awards Recognition event and congratulate you all for your participation in our semester this year. Each year, the Colorado Community College System honors students as rising stars throughout the 13 schools in the Colorado Community College System. Students are selected through a nomination process that includes students, faculty, and staff. Students are selected for their leadership and accomplishments both in and out of the classroom. This year, Trinidad State is celebrating two outstanding students, Destiny Calderon Ruiz and Jamie Kaufman. <coughs> The Trinidad Campus Rising Star is Destiny Calderon Ruiz. Destiny has been highly involved ever since she set foot on the TSJC campus. She has played volleyball for the college volleyball team. She was a resident assistant in student housing, and she has served as a state student advisory council representative for Trinidad State, both at the state and national level. This year, Destiny started a Trojan Ambassador program and has continued her work with the Upward Bound Math Science program. Destiny is from Pueblo and plans to continue her education towards a bachelor's degree this fall. Congratulations, Destiny. In addition to outstanding students, Trinidad State is recognizing employee excellence from all aspects of the institution. Winners are nominated and selected by their peers. This year, winners included Faculty of the Year, Jean Alger, uh, English Professor, Adjunct Instructor of the Year, Eile Ryling, Art Instructor, Faculty Classified of the Year, Daryl Pisani, Custodial Staff, and the Administrative Professional Technical Staff Member of the Year, Yvette Atencio. 
Director of Human Resources. Please join me in congratulating all of the award recipients tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Carrie, and congratulations to our state winners. Your efforts were noticed by many and have been appreciated by your Trinidad communities. For our final awards, we welcome our students to present the student voted Faculty and Staff of the Year. This year's nominations for the Trinidad campus are David Bacharach, Faculty, Catherine Carpenter, Nursing Faculty, Cindy Clements, Mathematics Faculty and Robotics Advisor, Santina Frank, Nursing Faculty, Terry Herbstritt, Arts and Sciences Faculty, Wendy Laughlin, Nursing Faculty, Desi Maxwell, Mathematics Faculty, Shem Montoya, Heavy Equipment Faculty, Dr. Sue Nesbitt, Psychology and Human Services Faculty, Ryan Newport, Gunsmithing Faculty, Robert Philbin, Physics Faculty, Joshua Richardson, Faculty, Anne Marie Rigdon, Business Faculty, Logan Schmidt, Gunsmithing Faculty, Sarah Sloan, Criminal Justice and Physical Education Faculty, Ruth Stodgill, English Adjunct Faculty, Kevin Walker, Biology Faculty, and Clifford Winning, Biology Faculty. Kevin Walker, Biology Faculty, Clifford Winning, Biology Faculty, Destiny Bragman, Athletics, Frank Colangelo, Custodian, Brianna Cool, Athletics, Bernadine DeGarbo, Communications Assistant, Lori Ray Hamilton, Dean of Instruction, David Hardman, Student Services, Tammy Mack, Director of Adult Education Services, Blanca Menendez, Payroll Accounting and Refunds Coordinator, Crystal Lee Marino, Student Services, Kim Nikolai, Business Office, Melvin Shively, Physical Plant, Amy Trujillo, Custodian, Phyllis Walker, Student Services, Susie Wickard, Housing and Student Services, and Ira Williamson, Instructional Technology. Congratulations, Ms. Tina. You so deserve this award. You are one of the most kind and caring individuals I know, and also an amazing educator. You are always there for your students, both in and out of class, willing to lend a listening ear, a helping hand, or even just to remind us that we got this. Thank you so much for everything you have done. I know you've helped me be any better. Congratulations, Miss Tina. You always kept a positive environment, which made it really easy to keep moving on even when we're super stressed. You deserve it. Hi, Miss Tina. Congratulations. I ran now the wisdom you did for us last week. It helps me build the confidence how to take care of a patient. And, uh, and now the chance you give us that we can practice some hands-on skills and interact with the patient just like a real workplace. It really helps me and uh, you are a great and amazing instructor. Thank you, Ms. Tina. When I decided to come back to college after 10 years and two kids, Miss Walker was the first person that I talked to. She helped me get enrolled in all of my classes, helped me figure out what exactly I needed to graduate the fastest, and to top it all off, she was super encouraging and so kind. Anything and everything that I have needed since I started school in the fall, Miss Walker has been right there, right away to do. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate everything that she's done for me and I'm sure numerous other students. So all I have to say is congratulations, Miss Walker, and thank you. Hi, Phyllis, I just wanted to congratulate you on getting student voted faculty or staff of the year. Um, I wanted to thank you for everything that you have done for us students. I know that especially the volleyball team, we talk about you all the time whenever it comes schedule time or whenever we need help. We know we can always go to you. You're so reliable and so helpful in so many ways. And I just wanted to thank you for everything that you do. Congratulations. Phyllis Walker has helped me from the very beginning. Um, you know, she made sure I took all the necessary steps to be enrolled and be able to take classes. She 
definitely is one of a kind. You know, she doesn't just care about whether or not your schedule is working out for you. She definitely cares about how you're doing as a person, how the classes are going, how you're personally doing. And that's pretty rare to find. Um, I would definitely like to say that I appreciate her, and I'd also like to congratulate her on this award. Congratulations to all. Although we may be celebrating in other areas and in different ways, we celebrate as one proud Trinidad State Trojan family. Congratulations, Trojans! To carry on the tradition of the annual Achievement Awards and celebrating our students, we will pass the torch on to announce the 2020-2021 Student Government Association winners. Now Ashley Cogburn will welcome our new SGA members, followed by closing remarks from David Hardman. Thank you. Hey everybody, Ashley Cogburn here. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you for your continued support of our Trojan community and staying strong through COVID-19. And congrats to all of our nominees and winners this evening. For the 2020-2021 election board results, we have Bryce Siemens as president, Natalia Espino as vice president, Tori LeBay as our Vice President of Programming, our State Student Advisory Council representative remains open, Hamadou Najaye as our Trojan Ambassador, and our Secretary position remains open. Our Department Representative positions that remain open are our Associates of Applied Science, Associate of General Studies, our Career and Technical Representative, our STEM Representative, our O'Connor Hall Representative, Huggins Hall, and Romero Hall Representative, and our women's basketball and soccer representative. Pending her acceptance, Juliana Ramos has been voted as the Associate of Arts representative, as well as pending Emily Younger's acceptance, she has been voted in as either the Johnson Hall or softball representative. Lastly, we have Brandon Bagon as the baseball representative, Dennis Bachard as the ba men's basketball representative, and Jeremy Casillas as the men's soccer representative. Congratulations to all of you that have been elected into the Student Government Association for the 2021 academic year. For those positions that have remained open or have received a tie vote, we will be holding elections in the fall to determine who shall be taking the spot. To be eligible for SGA, you must be enrolled in at least six credits or more and have a 2.5 GPA or higher. If you have any questions, please feel free, free to reach out to me anytime. Now for our closing remarks, I welcome my best friend and director of recruiting and outreach, David Hartman. Hello everybody, I'm David Hartman, and I'm going to be giving you a closing remarks for our Student Achievement Awards tonight. First of all, let's give a huge round of applause to Ashley Cogburn for making this happen. Without her, this would not be possible. Without you showing your dedication, hard work, and just sheer love for our Trinidad State Junior College students, we would not be able to have this Achievement Awards without you. At this time, I would like to recognize all of our Unaccord recipients, all of our nominees, all of our winners for our Student Achievement Awards. A huge thank you to SGA, and we'd also like to welcome our new SGA on board. You guys have left a huge impact during your time here at Trinidad State. I hope that Trinidad State has left an impact on you and your lives for the future. Remember, every finish line has a journey, and thank you for allowing Trinidad State to be a part of your journey.